Good morning, everyone. I'm just rolling my face out. Don't mind me. So cold. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope you guys are excited for today's vlog. I thought I would just take you guys to hang out with me today. I've got some things to do. This was like incredibly annoying of me to do. I'm I'm so sorry. Getting my nails done. I'm getting um, like a hydration plump. My office is getting painted back white in preparation for the closet to be built, which is just, oh, so exciting. The closet is being installed next week now because some items are out of stock. Yeah, this morning, I think I'm just gonna take the dogs. It's like seven something. I think I'm just gonna take the dogs on a little walk this morning, listen to Green Lights audiobook by Matthew McConaughey. Sounds very exciting for me. I kind of wanna walk and get coffee. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and make a lot of lifestyle vlogs. My name is Kinsey, I'm 23, I live in Dallas, Texas. I make a lot of lifestyle vlogs, fitness, health, product faves, style, home decor, all that stuff. So be sure to subscribe if you guys are new here. And if this is your first video that you're seeing of mine, I'm actually curious, please comment below. I'm using my Skinny Confidential Ice Roller and like, wow, does this thing do wonders, okay? Guys, Fitz wants the ice roller. I would roll your face if it wasn't gonna um, ruin this, I think. Are you jealous? Mr. Handsome, guess whose first birthday is next week? He's gonna turn one. I'm getting ready now. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing for my really simple everyday look. Always super goop glow screen at first. I talked about this so many times, but in case you're new here, um, it's a sunscreen, but it like blurs out your skin and it leaves you with this beautiful perfect glow It also like evens out your tone, but it's like literally just the sunscreen. You can never tell on camera I feel like it always looks better in person. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. And you should be wearing sunscreen every day anyways Which is something I only got good at once I got this product as far as like legitimate just products go that is definitely my number one holy girl. I just throw that on in the morning. My skin looks so bomb, I'm glowing. I think I'm gonna get green tips today. I don't know. I have gel right now. I don't like gel, I like dip a lot better. My dip lasts like three or four weeks. Gel literally broke off within like a day, so. Okay, my two recent faves that I've been using, I've been using the Tower 28 Cream Blush and then I got the Milk Makeup um, Bronzer Stick. This is the matte bronzer stick. I love this thing, and then I just buff it out with my favorite brush from Sephora. This is a Sephora Pro Foundation 64 brush. I was using this to apply foundation, and then I was using my Beauty Blender to like blend this stuff out. And then I started using my Beauty Blender again on foundation and this to blend this stuff out, and it looks so bomb. I like doing it with a brush because I feel like I have more control than a Beauty Blender. Just take the Tower 28 Cream Blush, and apply that. I was always afraid of cream blushes, and then I started using them, and I love them now. Okay, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix. I'm just gonna brush my brows out. And then I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara. This is the makeup look. It's really gloomy out, so the lighting is trash. Really simple, glowy, dewy, easy. These sweats are aloe, this tank top is Princess Polly. My favorite shoes are from Soothies. This is no longer available, but it's really comfy. I don't, oh, I don't know why I haven't been wearing this. I think I like forgot about it. It's so cozy, especially if I was wearing a sports bra and I could like tuck it under. And then I think I'm gonna go, oh, where's my normal ring? Cindy ring, I love wearing this heart one. Maybe I'll throw some hoops on, Jennifer Fisher. I don't think I'm gonna wear my bracelet today. These would be my sunglasses if it was sunny at all today. Um, but I'm gonna take the dogs on a cute little walk. I might walk and grab some coffee as well. These are the lip products that I've been loving recently. This is the Hourglass Hint Velvet Story. Okay, I don't know which one's the name and which one's the color, but just, you know, there you go. And then I just have some pretty basic lip gloss. Time for a walk. Oh, I forgot my AirPods upstairs. Throwing in my AirPods and going on a nice little morning walk, which I actually have been really bad about walking lately. And in the book yesterday, that I read that I recommend everyone reads. She was talking about like building confidence and stuff and how a lot of it's done by like routines to yourself, which I'd already learned that from my let. I was just thinking of new exercises and ways that I could add that in. And I think it would be walks because I used to be really good about walks and they're really good for me. And for some reason, I just get out of them. And obviously I go on walks all the time because of the walks, but I mean like the longer type of walks I was going on before, you know what I mean? Sitting up. 
outside. I just got coffee at the merchant. This is actually called the cowboy. Love. Taste us. Oh, it's really good. This is literally the most popular guy on the street today. Okay, he's ignoring me now. He's too cool. There's Coco. Cutie. I'm about to get my nails done. This is what they currently look like. I listen to Dr. Will Cole's podcast with Dr. Nicole LaPera. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's the doctor and author of the book that I was talking about earlier, and I love her. I'll let you guys know how I feel, but Sav and I both read that book yesterday, and then the day before we read Your Brain It All Is Always Thinking. What was it? Dr. Amon's book. I already talked about it. In a Basically, we read two books in two days because it's Hawk Girl Summer, Hawk Girls Read, and we are growing. We're 23. We're 23. I'm in a rush. My nail appointment ran very late. Here are my nails. They're really cute. I just changed the tip to a green tip, which I love. I'm on my way to IM Med Spa. This is where I go for Botox. I get preventative Botox. I do have a code if you guys go there. It's in Dallas. It's at Snyder Plaza, but um, I do have a code if you guys wanna go. I will put it on the screen. You guys get 20% off. I've never had any interest in like getting lip injections or anything like that, but they've been talking to me about getting this like hydration plump is what they call it. Essentially, it's like a really low level of lip injection just for my top lip and honestly I mean when opportunities present themselves like who am I to say no you know it's not gonna look crazy it's gonna be like a very low dose syringe I don't I don't know my camera just died so we're on my phone but here are the nails I love them guys also neon makes me look tanner which is great here I am guys I'm gonna get you to open just a little bit Side, okay, so we can do the first couple. Oh it's like the anticipation. It's the anticipation. You know, once you know what it feels like, you're gonna be like, okay, it's yeah, like, off. <laughs> Go ahead and relax your lips. Yeah, keep them kind of loose a little bit. Yep, right there. We're gonna do the first one, okay? Deep breath in and a pinch. Good. Good job, girl. No, that was not bad at all. I feel like that's comparable to Botox. Yeah, like you very think so? comparable. Yeah. But also, like, my lips are numb, so... <laughs> exactly. It's a little different down in the bottom. Is it worse? I think it's a little bit worse, okay. but most people think the upper's a little worse. Oh, really? So you kind of tell me your... Okay. I'm going to have you breathe through it, though. All right. Deep breath in. And exhale, exhale, exhale. Good. And you can feel the filler a little bit more. What do you think compared to the top? I don't know, because the left side hurt more than the right side yes. for me. Yes, uh-huh. But I think, like, maybe the initial hurt a little bit worse, but, like, uh -huh. the longer, I don't feel like yes. it was as bad. <laughs> no, I wasn't even recording. <laughs> out my lips are still very numb i've never gotten any sort of like lip filler it's obviously like really numb and swollen right now they'll like chill out and like become more me i have like two more weeks of this but i really like them honestly they're really like normal looking like they're not too crazy which is what i was going for but i just wanted to take you guys along it wasn't that painful this side hurt worse than this side or this side hurt worse than this side um i barely got any in my bottom for those who are gonna ask i got about half a syringe. I think it was like 60% of the syringe. Here we are, everyone. I just picked up some paint. The black wall in my office, that's gonna be my closet room, is getting painted today. So the closet room is officially starting to come together as of today. The weather is like gross right now. I'm not into it. Also, I was supposed to work out and I realized I can't work out because you're not supposed to sweat for 24 hours after getting lip injections, which is unfortunate. So at least I went on a walk this morning, but I was really looking forward to my workout. I love Texas because the men there were just so kind, so nice, insisted on carrying it to my car. I mean, there's just really no place like Texas. All right, guys, I just took down all the paintings. We never even fixed the paint from when we painted this last summer. But if you didn't know, I'm making this room into a custom closet and this wall obviously just needs to go back to being white. It's gonna be covered, but like the very top won't be and I just don't wanna have to deal with it later. I'd rather just do it now. So it's getting painted today. And as for all of the art 
Um, I have a ton of stuff over here. It's gonna go elsewhere in my house. So we're figuring that out. I got a bunch of stuff out to make one of my go-to salads. Okay, the secret to a good filling salad, hummus, avocado, and then Mary's crackers. You can find Mary's crackers at like health food stores normally. I just like crumble them on the salad. They're really good and they really add something to your salads, guys. Just had lunch, it was really good. I'm gonna get back to work. Um, I'm having the Starbucks cold brew and I got nut pods. I know that I've had these in my house before because my mom is like all into this stuff, but I was reminded about them because Julie is obsessed with them right now. So I'm making some coffee. Update on how my lips are feeling. Definitely like numb and sore a little bit, but I'm gonna put my before and after on the screen. I texted it to Sav. And if you guys don't know, Sav is like my best friend since middle school, high school. How long? It's been like 10 years. And she like doesn't even really wear makeup, but she's like super, super natural. And even she was like, oh my God, I've never seen lip injections that like I've liked before. This girl's an artist. So that's a good sign. We're back on the vlog camera. I feel so weird. Like my lips are still kind of numb, but they're gonna get sore. And I feel like I'm in the in-between of that. So don't mind that in today's vlog. I've been on my computer for the past few hours and I'm now going to go see the new wall because it's been painted. Oh my gosh, guys. Whoa. It feels so different. Like so different. Back to when I first bought this house. I've been sitting here working, recording some stuff for tomorrow's episode, which will already be out by the time you guys have seen this. Basically, I just... If you guys have ever felt lost or confused in your 20s or really just ever in life and have no idea what you're doing and so confused and um, you know that you're changing a lot and you're just like confused on life, on who you are, on who you want to be, on what you want to do, um, tomorrow's episode is for you. It'll be linked below. I think it's called like feeling lost in your 20s and then Lauren Elizabeth and I also recap book club. You know what's so crazy though? I remembered this like literally five minutes ago. An old mentor of mine in LA told me that you should reinvent yourself like every three years. And she's like, you're gonna be a different person like every three years. And it's not that I didn't like who I was. Like I loved who I was, especially at that time, but in that time of life that worked then, and this is what works now. So it was like encouraging to remember that that's like normal. There was also something that I saw on Instagram the other day about like one of my favorite Instagram accounts. And oh, my cousin, I was literally, tell me why so weird i was just thinking about something with someone and then they texted me exactly what i was thinking we hadn't even talked about it bizarre oh god why but basically it was like emotional maturity you know what let me like actually find it for you emotional maturity is allowing yourself to change and not becoming attached to a, to a strict or fixed idea of who you are that's good Alyssa, my cousin is about to pick me up and we're going to get thai food for dinner very exciting things happening. Update on my lips. They're kind of sore. They're not really numb anymore, but they're definitely like a little bit sore. We're at Uptown Pad Thai, I think is yeah. what it's called. Mm -hmm. um, it's really cute. This is like, oh my God, have you been to Zena's before? Downtown? Um, wait. I think they have multiple locations. I've only been to the one downtown, but we used oh, to great. go at like 3 a.m. I'm with Alyssa, obviously. We used to go at like 3 a.m. all the time and it was so much fun. Anyways, this is looks bomb. It looks very good. You're at Adamame? Do you not want investors because you just want more control? Like what is the, what's the benefit and the cost? So investors are awesome and one day we will need them, but I want to retain my equity until I don't need them.